are trying to conceive a Christmas poem for you. Twas the week before Christmas and my thoughts turned to babies. At what point in my life did that change from Bailey's? I've been tracking ovulation each month with care, in the hope that our timing will bring fruit to bear. I want a baby nestled all snug in my belly. Visions of motherhood turn me to jelly. Another year goes by showing one line, not two. My strength is waning, I'm feeling so blue. While others infuse of presents and snow, I'm left feeling empty and ever so low. It's all about the children, they say, of this season. But where are mine? They have given me no reason. Unexplained infertility stings like a burn. We are left without answers. We are trying to learn. Each year I say the next will be different. A positive result by next Christmas would be sufficient. I'm determined to celebrate and hold on to hope, but I'm finding it hard and I'm struggling to cope. We kept it a secret and didn't want to share. Now we have told people and they really care. Christmas can be a time full of magic, but for many this season, can feel pretty tragic. All of our joy can be pumped up and enhanced, but our pain can be stronger and we can feel entranced. Attacked by our thoughts and worries each day, here is a trick to dispense them, just say. Now worry, now sadness, now grief and despair. I hear you, I feel you, I'm fully aware. I choose now to release one thought at a time. And out of the darkness, I begin to climb. For our thoughts are not facts. I know it's hard to believe. But once you start practicing, the quicker you get the negative to leave. Ask yourself, is this thought and thinking the truth? Really question the evidence like the best kind of sleuth. The freedom this gives is outstanding, you see. You have just learnt the way to be emotionally free. Your thoughts are yours, yours, to do as you choose. Why hold on to the ones that hurt you and abuse? New strength can be found if you slow down and listen. Perhaps Christmas might feel different and even start to glisten. So I hope that this poem has offered new insight. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. As you can see, I still read this full of emotion. The techniques that I learn while going through infertility myself, mindfulness, cognitive behavioral technique, emotional freedom technique, hypnotherapy, all of these techniques just empowered me. They gave me the tools that I needed to not just survive infertility, but to thrive. They brought me back from when I hit absolute rock bottom. They brought me back to myself again. And that's why I set up Embrace Fertility. That's why I retrained as a therapist. And that's why I do what I do. I support others who are struggling to conceive. I'm finding it really difficult, finding it overwhelming, finding it stressful, finding it just unbearable at times. That's where these mind-body techniques can come in. I'm running a free masterclass this coming Sunday, the 8th of December, 8 p.m. GMT London time. Just hop onto my link, onto my bio, hit the link and come and sign up or visit embracefertility.co.uk. In this masterclass, class, coping at Christmas while trying for a baby, I'm going to be sharing the mind-body techniques that can soothe your mind, calm your body and bring you some comfort and some calm at this time of the year. So do come and join me.